He's having a great spring right now. He's battling this tail off. We're all are just trying to get better and improve so the mistakes that happen last year don't happen again this year. When you look around the room and you see, I think, three guys are gone who were in your group last year who, who, who left school and stuff, what does, what does that just tell you about the expectations here? You know, they're high and they're going to always be high. We're not going to lower our expectations for anybody. And that was the thing last year, you know, we didn't have a year that was accepted for Ohio State Online. So we, we got to take that, have a trip on our shoulder and get back to where we were before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we all love Coach Stud, and he preaches toughness and technique, you know. Toughness and effort a lot of times overcomes bad technique or things like that. So as long as you can make a mistake, but as long as you give him effort and he's tough out there, he, he's all for it, he can help you with fix your technique. What's an example of playing for being tough? I mean, it's a lot of things, you know, just playing for being tough, you know, but just battling. You know, you, don't, you have a fight. Every player is a dog fight. The and just be able to, being able to battle down there. Just, um, I think a lot of the, the criticism was on pass protection. But how do you guys feel like you did with the run? Oh, I think we had a great year with the run game. You know, we had Mike. He had a great year. JT had a nice year rushing. I think Kurt almost had a hundred, I mean, a thousand yards rushing too. So you know, we were able to run the ball pretty effective last year. And have you seen that continue? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, that's the first thing we want to do. We want to run the ball. And then we got to pass protect and take shots. And how has Malcolm come along from coming off of an injury season trying to learn a new system coming out of Juke? What have you seen out of him? Well, he's just still trying to learn to play with, you know, and get used to the system because he, did, he got hurt really early in the game. So he just didn't get reps all season. So this is really, really his first time he's off season with us. So he's still trying to learn to play with and get used to the line of the SRZ because What's his ceiling? I was really high. You know, he's a big, strong dude. So, and he used to be play tackle, so he was able to move. And now he's still, he's still in the guard. So he's able to move his feet and things like that. So he's just able to move his feet and he's used to the custom to the game. You know, having an injury like he has, it's tough for him to face that. Like he's about to him back. How, well, you mentioned going against this defensive line. What have you seen from them? Obviously, they talked about quite a bit. Man, we got four defensive ends that can start anywhere in the country. And it's a battle every play, you know, we got Sam, Taekwon, and Nick, they're all just rotating in and they're fresh, which is really great for me and Isaiah, because like I said, we got four defensive ends, so I think we'll start anywhere in the country. And I think that could go in the first round in the draft next year, all four of them. So, you know, it's just keep battling and learning. You know, each one brings something different to the table. And if we could block these guys, I think we could block anybody in the country. Huh? Where's Draymond fit in there? Oh yeah, him at three technique. You know, he's explosive and quick off the ball. He used to play D in high school. He played D a little bit when he first got here, so he has that quick twitch and he's able to move around and shifty. And he has the power too to be inside. So he's he's been involved too. Coach Coach Mary Clark.